Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Madison and I'm sharing my technique for this beautiful ashy blonde. I wanted to achieve a hair color that was sleek and simple but had a high-end look. This permanent hair color is cool and crisp and I'm really happy with the results. I am not a professional cosmetologist, but I love doing my own hair at home and I'm so excited to share this tutorial with y'all so you can do your own hair at home too. Let's get started. As you can see, my hair color is growing out. My roots are showing, my toner is fading, and my blonde hair is turning brassy. I decided against bleaching and toning my hair like I do in my DIY Platinum Blonde tutorial. I love that tutorial and I love being a bright blonde, but I decided I wanted to try something different. In this video, I will be sharing with you how I go a slightly darker shade of blonde, more of a medium color, with an ashier, cooler tone. I'm prepping my hair with a pre-color treatment. I'm brushing through the tangles and sectioning off my hair. The hair color I selected is the Zotto's Age Beautifully Permanently Hair Dye in 8A and 9A. I used half light ash blonde and half medium ash blonde to create a light medium color. I'm mixing this hair color with equal parts developer. I chose to use a volume 20 developer to encourage my roots to lift slightly. If you don't need as much color correction or pigment evening as I do, then a volume 10 developer will work just fine. This formula is one third eight ash, one third nine ash, and one third volume 20 developer. Check out the description box below for details. I apply the hair dye starting with my roots. I'm working from bottom to top, back to front. I part the hair in small sections and generously apply the product all over my head. This may look messy, unorganized, or unprofessional, but it works for me. I'm focusing the product heavily on the roots, where I want the color to be the darkest and the product needs to develop for the longest amount of time. The product is now saturating the roots and I massage the product with my fingertips. Now that the roots are complete, I begin working the dye down the hair shaft. I brush through my hair with a tangle teaser and evenly distribute more hair dye about halfway down the hair. In order to keep the ends of my hair bright, I avoid dyeing the tips. If your hair is not as light in color as mine, you will want to continue applying the dye through the ends. Pin the hair up and continue to develop for an additional 30 minutes. After rinsing out the dye, I apply my favorite in-shower toner, focusing on the ends of the hair. Ta-da! All done. Please remember, I am not a professional cosmetologist, but I love creating videos and sharing my DIY techniques. 
Thank you for all of your love and support on my past hair tutorials. And thank you for sharing your positive experiences with me. I'm so pleased with the results of these products and I love this ashy blonde look. If you try out this look for yourself, please leave me a comment down below or tag me on Instagram. Thank you for watching and if you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Thank you.